So I didn't give you a copy of the lab form, but I'll uh, show that. Uh, I got it open in my room. Um, so not um, not following procedure will deduct from the student grade, right? You understand that? Uh, we don't have food or drinks in around the labs. Even when we're working with these trainers, we we allow y'all to have drinks in here. We don't allow y'all to have food in this classroom, right? Uh, but we do allow y'all to have drinks. But if we're working in a lab, you're not gonna have you're not gonna have a drink around here because we don't want you to accidentally do uh spill it into our trainers, right? Y'all all y'all all, all played around with the trainers before, right? Of course, this one we're gonna be dedicated uh, to. Uh, Mostly up to the switches up here at the top and then the LEDs. I showed you that. And then uh, we're going to be using a, a digital, dang, I closed my camera down. We got a digital clock output. We'll be using that, which is uh, later on. Uh, all labs, uh, we're going to do all labs. Make sure you bring a pencil to do your lab forms. Uh, like I tell everybody, I got tired of following roadmaps around for people to do what? They'd make a mistake and they'd do what? Scratch it out and then make a mistake and scratch it out. And pretty soon they was drawing the arrows all over the place and I was trying to figure out how to do that. And what's nice about a pencil is most pencils, if you make a mistake, you can erase, right? If you got to erase it. So we're going to have a lab form, guys. Uh, I'll show y'all basically what it looks like. And I, I don't know. Uh, some of y'all probably had uh, my classes before, but <laughs> here what we like to do is I have to keep up with uh I have to keep up with how I came up with your grade for five years. So what was happening, that meant we had to keep all tests, we had to keep all labs, we had to keep everything. So what we decided to do was to come up with a lab grade form and then at the end of the semester, I don't give you your labs back until the end of the semester because for some reason people want to copy, right? You understand that? Uh, so at the end of the semester, if you want your labs back, what I'll do is I'll give you your lab, I'll give you the labs back, but I'll keep the lab form, which shows how you, how I came up with your grade. And, uh, so the lab form, it's just, uh, and you gotta do some things, uh, on the lab form too, uh, as far as keeping up with your time and stuff like that. We'll try to get you that because a lot of times, uh, when you get out on the job, they require that kind of stuff. We got the office network. Okay. So this is the lab form. Uh, we're going to work with teams of uh, two, no more than two, and it works out great in this class. We got eight, right? Understand that? So uh, y'all, uh, y'all buddy up. And of course, you'll start off with your name. Everybody does a lab form. Everybody turns in the lab. Everybody does a lab, form, even if you're working in a team. Everybody understand that? So you'll start off with your name, your partner's name, the experiment number, and then the title of the experiment. This is where you're going to keep up with your time, how much time it took you to do stuff, and then plus any equipment that you used. That is not the trainer. You're going to be assigned the trainer this semester. So we're going to get a piece of masking tape. You and your partner is going to put your name on top of it, and you'll be assigned that. So you don't have to sign the trainer out. But if you go use one of these oscilloscopes over here, you're going to, you're, it's got a number on it, you're going to sign it out. And that way, if any of my test equipment gets left out, uh, we need to do that for uh, for all our chargers and everything for intro robotics. We'll find we'll find cables, we'll find chargers left out all over the place. So, uh, that way, I can get y'all for not following instructions, right? These are the circuits you're going to build. Uh, and what we said is you'll start off with uh, who built the circuit, the figure number. So every every uh, every lab figure that you're going to build's got a figure number, and then who who uh, who built the circuit, right? You're going to take turns building circuits. And then you're going to swap around. So basically, one person is going to be wiring the circuit and the other person is going to be telling them where to hook the wires at, right? You understand that? So you're already team. I don't want to see one person out here wiring a circuit and the other person being out there vaping or something like that, right? You understand that? Or smoking. By the way, you're not supposed to smoke out here. I know where the smoking area is for this, for this room. No. I don't know where it is. It's all the way up on, against the fence. Uh, it's on the, by the interstate up there. So that's where y'all supposed to go. Uh, we don't say anything about y'all smoking over against this, but we don't want y'all smoking out here in front of this, in front of the room, okay? Y'all smoke. And that's the habit y'all already give it up, right? 
so you'll keep up with that and down here. I'll write down here. This is where I actually make deductions for different things y'all can do. Are we okay on the lab form? One lab for every, one, one form for every lab. Each, each person does a lab. Uh, we have a, a clipboard over here that's got a, got a little slot in it that we open up and we'll keep the lab forms inside that. Uh, fill in all the required information at the top of the lab form. Check the instructor's lab manual. Guys, I can't find my lab manual. Uh, I hadn't taught this class in a while. We turned this over to, uh, another instructor. Uh, I don't know if y'all had any classes with Brittany or Grant. Uh, she taught digital last. That's why I was looking for my, and I, I don't know where my lab book's at. It's got all the corrections. So we might have to just do that as we go along. Uh, write your name on the title page of the experiment. The title page must be included in the uh, set of documents that you uh, require for each assignment, uh, for each experiment. Everybody okay there? Uh, the instructor assigned numbers for LSAC equipment that is not assigned to your team for the term must be documented in the correct location on the lab form. That means if you use a logic probe, you need to document that. If you use a scope, you need to document that. If you use this function generator, which we're going to be doing some this semester, uh, you're going to have to document that, right? Now, if something happens to it, you know, I understand that. But all we're trying to do is that things get left out. and People don't put things back where they go. You know, that really, really bothers me because I have to do a real quick inventory. And you put scopes in there on the shelf in there, and I'm missing a scope out here. Everybody okay there? Uh, your team, uh, the team needs a short circuit. So what I'll do is once you get a circuit checked up, set, uh, set up, I'll just come back and I'm not checking the circuit to see if it's wired right and if it's working right. I'm checking to make sure you don't have that five volt supply connected over to the ground supply somewhere because that's a short circuit. And you turn it on and you'll bop my five volt regulator in this train. So the first time, once you get a circuit, before you turn that circuit on, guys, it's going to peeve me off if I come back here and your circuit is turned on without me coming back here and just looking it over real fast, right? Okay. We have, uh, we, the only requirement we have in this class is, uh, is DC. That's the requirement for the class. And so you're still trying to learn how to wire these things. And there's a lot of short circuits. We blow fuses in those meters all the time in DC and intro. So I'll come back. I'll check to make sure your 5 volt supply and your ground or the common is connected correctly. And then I'm going to turn you loose. And then you, you'll, you'll have the circuit wired up. Once you get it wired up, you should know what you should know. An AND gate should be all highs to get high, right? So if you don't get all highs to get a high, then that means something's wrong, right? So don't fill in all those zeros or all those ones and call me back and say the circuit's working because you, you should have known what. You should have known it, it wasn't working. And then don't tear the circuit down. If you decide to tear the circuit down and rewire it, I don't want you to do that. What you're doing is you're losing a, a really good opportunity to troubleshoot a circuit. I mean, we can usually figure out what's going on with these things with less than a minute. We can figure out what's wrong, what what you did wrong, or if the IC itself is bad. You know, these ICs that we're using have been used by a lot of classes. So, I mean, some of them might be wise. Some of them might actually be bad. Uh, so, uh, when your team needs a short circuit check or a, a circuit construction sign off or help, one team member must write his or her name on the lab, on the sign off sheet that will be located up here. It's usually on top of the, la the, the, the clipboard that's got all the blank lab forms in there. So, circuits are going to be checked twice, at least twice, right? Once to make sure you hadn't shorted out your power supply. The next time when you bear, when the circuit, when you're ready for me to come back and sign it off. Are you okay? That makes sense. Have the circuit perform a quick check uh, for short circuits before applying power to a constructed circuit. 
Darren just checked the circuit. The instructor is not checking for uh, correct uh, construction of the circuit. So this is not the sign off of the, the circuit. Everybody understand that? This happens all the time. Well, you already signed it. There's your initial right there. So every circuit's going to have two initials on it. One of them's going to be it's okay to put power on it, and the other means I've signed the circuit off, right? Everybody okay there? Uh, t students in a team will take turns constructing circuits and experiments. Each team member will document the circuit constructor in the space provided on the lab board. The team member not constructing the circuit will provide the connection information. That understand. Before tearing down a circuit, have the, have the instructor check, uh, check your circuit for correct operation and measurements. During the sign-off process, the instructor may ask questions pertaining to the circuit's operation. Once instruction and once the instructor has confirmed the circuit operation and your understanding of the circuit, the instructor will initial your lab book and lab form. Circuits that are not checked by the instructor will have to be reconstructed in order to receive partial credit. You won't get full set credit because you didn't follow instructions, right? You understand that? And this happens in this class too. Note that two uh, two labs will be oh and I we're not going to be able to do uh, these labs so th we're, this is going to knock off two labs altogether and why we were doing it with a uh, with a program called electronic work meeting and unfortunately electronic work meeting uh, does not work under Windows ten. Uh, each team member must complete a lab grade form for each experiment. Students will not be awarded points for a portion of any experiment completed by the team member uh, when they are absent. Absent team members must continue the lab at the point at which the student that was not absent is working. Uh, there is no scheduled makeup days for the labs. Now what we do is we scale the labs by a couple of labs. So that means if you do not get full credit for one lab, that's okay. But if you mess a lot of labs, then that's going to you don't need to pass the course anyway, right? You understand? There is no time for makeup in this class. Class. Questions at the end of the experiment are not a team effort and must be answered individually by each student. Do not copy answers from any book or from other students. Copying results in zeros for all party involved. Y'all understand that? So working, you're working as a team when you build that lab, but you're not working as a team when you answer those lab questions. Once you complete an experiment, staple the lab form to the top of the experiment pages from the uh, lab book. So you're going to tear the lab out. Of no, this, I'm sorry. Y'all are not getting a lab book, right? I'm giving you all the labs. And they'll be, they'll be already stapled together. Uh, what you'll do is you'll staple the lab form on the top of that and you'll turn it into a box. We have two boxes up here that's going to be up here. I don't know where they're at. Well, we have several we, we move around. One of them's going to be called labs to be graded and the other one's going to be called labs not ready to be graded. So uh, you're not supposed to take the lab form home with you, but a lot of people go ahead and staple it on there, right? So, you know. Do not start another experiment until all the circuits in the current experiment has been uh, been completed and all measurements have been recorded. Experiments questions should be answered at home. Labs must be turned into bending. So what we do is once you once you have what I want you to do when you're in this class is when we're in lab I want you to build circuits. I don't want you to answer the questions at the end of the lab. I want you to build circuits. And then what I want you to do is I want you to answer those questions at home. Okay, so you take the lab home with you, just don't take the lab form, right? You understand? Uh, complete lab exper uh, experiments uh, are to remain in my student folder for you. The entire experiments turned in for grading may be viewed. So every once in a while, it'll say, well, compare this to the measurements that you made in experiment 31. And you're working on 32. Well, I'll have that one. You'll say, I need to see my lab, right? Understand, I'll give it back to you, but you'll need to give it back to me 
one that you've already turned in. Does that make sense? The completed uh, will be turned in, uh, returned to the students at the end of the semester. So any questions about the lab procedures? Yes or no? Okay, so y'all got a copy of them, right? Any questions on that? Okay, guys, what y'all need to do is make sure you do what? 